and welcome to the CamCard iPhone app review. This is Wes reporting in and thank you for joining me. Now, CamCard is an app, professional business card reading app that has high quality, high accuracy scans. They can pretty much turn your iPhone or mobile device into a comprehensive business card holder. Now, it also allows you to easily and quickly find your business contacts and it can also save your uh, contacts into just a, the business card holder in, in this app or it can actually save it to your phone contacts so um, you can contact them anytime from your phone. Now I'm going to take just a few minutes to give you a tour of the app and then give you some ideas on how you could possibly make best use of the app as I always do in these app reviews um, and hopefully you can take, with, take it and run with it and use it. So uh, it's a pretty uh, simple interface when you first come into the app. Um, this is the page that happens when you open it up. Um, take photos, select photos, signature and card holder. Let's work through those bit by bit. Um, now first, uh, obviously take photo. If you tap on that, um, it's going to ask you to actually take a photo of the, uh, of the business card. So I'm just going to go ahead and get out of that because we don't, uh, I'm not taking a card now. I might actually do one uh, a little bit later in this review. Um, or select a photo. So if you've already taken one, um, you can select a photo and it'll scan that. Uh, the signature one here is if someone sends you an email and you, you've, you've got it on your iPhone app, uh, you've got it on your iPhone, then you can just basically copy and paste their email and uh, their, their email signature and when you tap recognize up here cams uh, sorry uh, this cam card reader will actually recognize and include it in your contacts which is pretty cool so even if you haven't got someone's business card but you send an email with them and you've been corresponding with them and they're a good contact and they've got their details in, in the signature just copy that paste it here and it becomes an automatic um, contact. Now card holder is where you've already scanned your your uh, uh, cards and here is just a, here's a few that I, I've, I've done already. Um, if I tap on the actual um, person's contact um, it opens up the actual person's uh, scan that I've done and it then allows me to do a few things. It allows me to call them direct allows me to SMS them, allows me to email them um, or connect on any of the networks um, or go to their, their web page or home page or connect on, on LinkedIn. So, you know, all these details, this is obviously the scan, but uh, CamCard has, has converted all this text into, um, all the scan into text and put it in, in the card holder um, and stored it for, for easy recognition later on. So obviously you can delete it um, if you want to. You can email the, the card, you can share it with someone, rotate it, and I'm assuming this one is means uh, edit. So here's the text that it's uh, actually recognized, and I haven't I haven't added anything at all. I haven't edited anything. This is purely from the scan. Um, and if you just scroll down, it's 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 pretty damn accurate with what it's actually done. It's made from the same makers as Cam Scanner, one of the top scanning apps which I've re reviewed uh, in a past app review. So um, these you can't go wrong with this company. Um, and and so that, that's all you need to do basically is take a photo of um, a business card, then you can contact them. You can reach them anytime in your card holder, um, and you can you know if you, if it does sort of. That the scan doesn't come out 100%, you can edit it. You just need to check it. It's always obviously a good idea to check it. So if we go back to um, all cards here, what we can also do once we've got um, our card holder, now let's assume I've scanned hundreds of cards and I, you know, I, I need to, to be able to find somebody. Uh, I can then sort by name, date, company, or just search for whatever it is that I need to search for, and it'll find it for me. So it's really well organized and you know I can't imagine I've actually got at home uh, six or seven full business card holders physical ones with you know anywhere from 50 to 200 cards in each one um, I'm considering scanning them all but uh, a lot of them are out of date but from now onwards I'm definitely uh, you know never going down that path again and it's definitely going to be uh, in, in digital form 
So uh, let's just take a real quick look at um, some of these these uh, icons down the bottom. This one here uh, just gives you a few options and settings um, on saving the image or not, how to order them, backing up and restoring uh, your scans. This one talks about the app itself, about the app, um, etc., etc. The contact details of the company, um, and this one, you know, gives you a bit of a, a, a manual um, and teaches you how to use best use the app. Uh, this one's actually clickable as well, and it's just um, a bit of an advertisement for some of the other apps that this company produces. So, how can you use CamCard for uh, your professional um, for your professional purposes? And obviously, it's self-explanatory. This is a, a business card scanner and holder. But I thought I'd throw some ideas at you on how you could actually use it. Now, the the um, the obvious thing to do would be to, to when you're going out. Obviously, when you're networking, um, when you're going to conventions, uh, any di dinners, um, breakfasts. I've been to a lot of bi business breakfasts where people don't have a lot of time, um, and uh, you know, some people run out of business cards when they come to networking events which is which is crazy but happens very very often um, you can just basically get a scan of their card and you don't have to worry about it anyway because you don't want to be carrying the cards anyway um, so you know instead of actually scanning each card and, and, and recognizing it etc you can basically um, just go to your you go to your camera app and take photos of them and, and you can scan them later. That's a good way that I've found to save you a lot of time because if you actually take a photo um, now, what it does is it asks you to resize it and it asks you to change the orientation and it's just a lot of time that is, is wasted that you need, you need to be out there networking with people. So that's how, how you do it. Um, obviously, you know, at the, at the airport, you meet some great people there. Uh, at golf clubs, uh, I've met some great people there. Uh, on business trips uh, always keep your eyes and ears out open for when you can meet people who, who can help you in your business or could be a potest, uh, potential client or customer um, and you know as I was saying before if you've got a big stash of business cards that um, are taking up a lot of space or collecting dust or a contacts that you'd actually like to uh, keep in touch with and contact but you couldn't be bothered you know opening your business card reader every time you want to contact them um, then this could be a great option. I mean, you could spend an hour just to, you know, put aside an hour. Um, you could scan, you know, probably hundreds of cards in an hour. It's pretty quick the way that this processes um, cards. And then you can have your contacts at your fingertips. So, you know, it's a pretty quick review today. Um, but, you know, I have to, to say this app has really impressed me. I've compared it against probably four or five of the other top business card reader apps. Um, and this one has come up trumps for me um, for, for its simplicity and its accuracy. Um, the other ones are pretty good too, uh, but uh, this one has, for me is number one and that's why I'm bringing it to, to you guys and, and highly recommending it. I'm giving it a 95%. Um, it's one of the best cam, uh, business card reader apps and I highly recommend you take it and have it as an essential tool uh, on your iPhone. So thanks for listening to this app review and I'll see you in the next video.